Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called Akai, and if you want to find out a little bit more about this, the details and the links will be down below in the description. You can actually download this demo for free, alright? So this is going to be a first person horror game and it's set in Japan in the feudal era and we're going to be playing as a temple priestess inside the temple when things start to go a little bit awry. I hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments at the end. Here we go. Let's play. My soul hurts badly in this darkness. I am alone. And he is away. It is the first time he leaves me in charge of the temple. And I've messed it up. Oh dear. Monsters, ghosts and spirits have come. You really have messed up. I couldn't up. do anything to protect the temple. Here I am instead, moaning, unconscious, among my thoughts and regrets. Come on now, Ko. Wake up. Wake up now. Yeah, come on now, Ko. Okay, she's woken up. Great. And I can stealth, and I can run. And I can find out that apparently she sleeps standing up. Fair enough. Okay, so there is a stealth component in this game. Is there a light component? Do I have a candle of my own? I, uh, I don't think I do, to be perfectly honest. I've got some loud footsteps. And some creaky floorboards around as well. Okay. Uh... Oh, I see. So we slide these back and forth. It's like a, a physics thing, like amnesia or penumbra. God, it's dark. Really dark. <laughs> uh, okay. What am I stumbling into in here? Some- oh, hang on. Oh, can we get this open? Yes, okay. What is that? Oh, perfect, we got some light. So, yeah, what was I, uh, what was I missing in here? What we got- oh. We got a spoon. Alright. Are we gonna take that with me? No? Can we just examine all the spoons? Looks like it. Alright. Well, that's quite interesting, I suppose. Um, there's a d <sighs> Oh. Oh. I can feel the evil within this house. <laughs> I can see it too. There must be a cursed object somewhere, and I need to find it. Do you though? Do you really? Can't you just maybe, yeah, slide this back, and then I don't know, maybe slide this one back as well, and then maybe go into the corner, into the fetal position, and just sit there. Nah, nah, nah. Let's go see if we can find this cursed item. Uh, I assume it's not here. Let's go towards. The apparition. That was pretty good. Yeah. That actually did get me. Right off the bat, too. So, yeah. This is looking promising. Um, Alright, let's just go room by room, I suppose. Again, very dark. Uh, looks like we got some things over there in the light. Ah, hang on. Honourable Samurai, I cannot let her go back to you. No matter the money, that's what she deserves. Naoko will be staying here as long as I can retain her. I'll not be reaching out to you anymore. Please consider this letter as my last answer. A jaded priest. Okay. Oh, what's this? Hey, we got some light. Alright, so, what's this? Is this of any significance? Alright. So, oh, hang on. Oh, look at all these. Oh, these are like cupboards and drawers, and that is not me. What's this? It was always snowing during winter time up here in the mountains. Besides, this huge temple is so cold, the parisier does almost nothing. Nice. I really thought my uncle would need this doll I made to call for good weather. I'm just gonna close this up just in case. So the collectibles menu is- th okay, there it is. Objects- oh, your guys as well. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, uh, letters. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be two letters and I found one of them already. That's good. Um, we're going to find something about your guys, I guess. Cool. Oh, brilliant. So we can actually find out more about this. So this is a Terry Terry Bozu. It's a handmade cloth or paper doll looking like a bald Buddhist monk. I can see the resemblance, I suppose. Terry Terry Bozu works as a weather charm. Its origins date back to the Edo period when children of urban dwellers or farmers would make them, believing the dolls could control the weather if they were chanted to. I see. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit of learning in during this playthrough. What we got in the box? What, oh, 
I got this little paddle thing. Okay. Ah, maybe I'm wearing a pair of these. Yeah, they look like they'd be noisy. Right, yeah, we got a lot of access to drawers and cupboards. I quite like that, although I suppose that does mean that we are going to get a few red herrings and stuff when looking for items. Oh, is that a lantern? I think it is, but it's nothing I can take around with me. Right, okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything to find here, really. Let's move on. Should I be stealthing? Hmm. Dunno. Ah, oh, at least we got light in this one. Right. I really don't like these noises that I'm hearing, because I'm only causing half of them. Oh, something up here in the cupboards? Or maybe the other side? Nope. Nope. Okay. What's that over there? Looks like a pestle and mortar or something. Okay. Uh, it might be something similar, just a, a different design. Okay. Come on. Alright. Oh, oh no, no, I can have a look at these, actually. Again, I don't think they really bear any significance. They're just nice little details. That's all right with me. What's this? Just by soaking our uh, feelings into this tea, I could make a beverage to darken my tea. But I won't do it until I get married. Oh, okay. I, I guess that's some sort of old tradition. Uh, well, I suppose we could probably learn about that in the collectibles menu, couldn't we? So, uh... Ahogaru. Uh, beauty practice which consists of dyeing the teeth black. The traditional method would involve a regular ingestion of a black beverage result of the oxidat oxidization of tea or sake after soaking iron filings into them. It became popular during the Edo period and until the end of the 19th century amongst married women and prostitutes as a symbol of sexual maturity. How wonderful. All right. Well, I assume that's not really a thing anymore. This way then. Through here? Right. Hmm. This must be the center of the temple. And that's a little bit alarming. Aren't they uh, seals or talismans or something? Right. Ooh. I do quite like the odd little sounds in this. They're, they're making me jump. Oh, hang on. Oh! Oh, I, I, I think I just shook that loose. Right, uh, we've got a key! A key to what? I've got no idea. I haven't actually found anything that's locked yet, but... Cool. <laughs> anything else in there? Come on! <laughs> No, I thought we were going to get an entire key ring. Let's take a look at this. Against my better judgement. Yeah. What does that say? <laughs> it burns. Oh, it burns! Okay, yeah, let's stay away from that. It seems that these seals come from a brace. That's right, they are seals. Which attempted to lock the spirit inside. Mm. But I thought my uncle was away. Hmm. And it seems like at least one got loose because we did see some sort of apparition at the door, didn't we? Nice. You can't have a look at that. Something in the chest? Okay, what's this? I don't really know. But maybe you could put a loop through that and hang it on a door? Write something on it? Maybe it's like a... Maybe it's a really big creak. <laughs> Again, not caused by me. Maybe it's just the the wind. You know, it's, it's going against the building. Oh god, look at this. Yeah, maybe some of it's the win. Some of it probably isn't. Oh my god, there's just so much to look at. Maybe too much to look at in a strange way. Let's just push those back in. Okay, any of this? No. Wait, oh, hang on, we got something. Say, say, I sound a different since I broke it. I guess it obviously was never meant to be the priestess. Oh. That's no way. Oh, maybe you've just had a, a, a bad first day, essentially. Let's have a look at that. The Saya Saya, was it? Akaguru Kagura Suzu. 
Okay, apparently it's a musical instrument used in sacred Kagura dances performed by a priestess or Miko, as referred to in Japanese. It has got a unique onomatopoeia in order to describe the sound of its 15 bells calling to the gods. Saya Saya. Okay, cool. All right, well, we found all the collectibles. So I'm I can't still searching. This mirror. The owner must be here. A broken piece from a tormented soul. Wonderful. And a wonder reflection made it an undesirable item. Okay, it looks like there maybe should be something up there, but there isn't. Some sort of offering, possibly. Oh, hang on. Okay, well, I think we've just used the key, so there must be something important in here, right? Something in there? There's no jumping, unfortunately, and I'm quite short. Got a mask. Okay. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> Alright. Uh, put that down. Yeah. Protective seal to lock the evil up inside this mask. Can we just lock there the drawer? Be a brush at the library. At the library? The library. Where's the library? Is that still rattling around in there? It is. Okay. Worrying. Uh, okay, I should probably get to the library then. I don't know precisely where the... Oh. Hang on, hang on. Oh god, the seals are just burning away. Maybe it's that way to the library? Let's go find out. Hmm. Creepy lighting. I like it. Am I going to see a silhouette? No, actually I'm not. So, oh fuck. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna stay away from you. Oh god, there's another one. Alright, uh. Ooh, shit, ooh. Get to that. Oh god. Okay, go, go. Oh! Oh god, no! Running away! <laughs> All the way to the end. Alright, are we safe? In here. Okay, right. I Oh, they've gone. Fantastic, they've fucking gone. Uh, here? Okay, tell you what, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close this up. Can I get this lit up? This is another lantern, right? Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool. Right, so, uh, this doesn't really look like a library to me, but still, let's just have a little look around. Who knows what we're gonna find? Not collectible, but maybe another note, or something about a, a yokai. Fan? Okay. I do appreciate the little details, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really quite nice. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Look at this. This it's a toy. Could have been mine. I mean, before the Lord took it from the battlefield and gave it to my uncle. I felt so close to this toy when it reached my hand. It was like a friend. As if I could feel the presence of the girl who used to own it. Hmm. Only soulless bodies can persist after a war. Okay. I'm not feeling too comfortable now. Maybe I should start stealthing or maybe I should go back and check out some of these doors. Uh, again, you know, we're just sort of wasting time, I suppose. This isn't the library. The library could be through here. Or maybe not. Let's get this lit up at the very least. Can we? There we are. Uh, well, I mean, we've got some notes and stuff. Broken shelves. I, I, Again, I don't think this is the library, though. It's not good enough. I don't really want to go down that corridor again. It must be it must be through here somewhere. Down the other end of the corridor. Through here. Ah. Let's see if I can find a brush. Right, a brush. Ooh, and there's something here. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, really? 
Okay, well, let's see if we can find it. What's this? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, let's leave that there. Wow, I've got some really long arms. Alright, so let's just swing that back over here, I suppose. Um, can I open? Oh, I can open all of these, wow. Okay, so... <laughs> there's a lot of looking in drawers in this game. And, oh, hang on. For good reason, though. Oh, Kijo. A heinous crime committed by jealousy turned a woman into a demon after death. Kijo is her name. She'll stand before you stronger than any human being with her piercing eyes, blue skin, and sharp horns. This is the last image you'll ever be able to see. I certainly hope not. But there you go. Fantastic. Oh, oh, I see. We, we stand on it. So there might be something up there that we need to get. Alright. So I'm just sort of pushing these all in. Ah, hang on. <laughs> Weird creaks. Mm, I'd need one, I think. Yeah, well, can you find the ink somewhere? Maybe the ink's around here as well. Let's see. Alright, let's just move on to the next bit. Like over here. Uh, I, hmm, I don't know, I'm not really seeing too much, but presumably if this exists, I'm going to have to use it. That thing, maybe? Hang on. Right at the end. Yeah. I can pick it up anyway. It, is, is that it? I think it is. It looked like okay. the drawing. Step by step. Now we go to the table and start writing the seal. This table here? We. Oh yes, I see. We've got to write our own seal. Oh really? We've got to paint it as well? Oh, this is nice. Alright. So, let's start here. And look. It's not quite as if, please. Oh. I'll look for another room. Okay, alright. Uh, let's look for another room. Whoa, shoot. That's... big. That's big. Okay. Yeah, stealth. Absolutely. fucking lootly Well, that's not gonna be the room I go in. No, 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 other one, other one, other one. There we go, there we go. Okay, here. Do, I, oh no, 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 I, I suppose I need to write it on a table. And I don't really want to do it in the dark. Maybe the next room? Is it still back there? Maybe it's still back there. Here? Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like I can do it here. Let's close up, so maybe, you know. If it comes on by, it doesn't see me doing this. Okay, so yeah, let's finish this off. So, this is going to be very sloppily done. There you go, okay. So, oh, quick, quick. I'm just going to do this before that door opens. Got it. Got it. Hurry up. I must place it on the mask. On the mask. We've got to go to the mask, then. Is it out here somewhere? I, I mean, I heard a door open. Shit. Okay, I probably should stealth all the way. This looks so different, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so the, the temple is going to change around me? think? Or maybe I just got lost. Where are we? I can hear someone from me. Whoosh! I must be silent. Okay, we're back in the right room. I thought I was over there. Okay, it, can I just sneak on by and get to the mask? I think maybe I can. Is it still in the drawer? Should be in this one, right? Yeah. Okay, so put the seal on it. That's it. And apparently I drew it well enough, because it does work. Sweet. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's what I saw. What long fingers you have. So did we deal with the spirit? It's gone. The and now the drum's talking to me. Uh, Is that the priest? Maybe. Back here somewhere? Where we started? Yeah. It's gotta be down here somewhere. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, I was really getting into that. Oh, there you go. That was the demo to Ikai, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really did like the demo, actually. Um, let's skip ahead. What else we got? Okay. Oh, neat. Okay. So you can learn a little bit more about the lore and everything. Sweet. And we're back there, and you can have a look at the collectibles as well. So, yeah, there you go. That was the demo to Akai. I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. I am a little bit of a sucker for Asian horror, or rather, games based on Asian folklore and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is something I'm very interested in. I will be checking out the full game, I think, when it does get released. I think the plan is in 2021 sometime. Hopefully early 2021. I don't know what the main game is going to consist of, I assume that is going to be part of it, but maybe we're going to have to deal with different ghosts and different spirits in the temple. And uh, maybe... Maybe the priest is going to be... You know, something to do with one of them, who knows? But uh, yeah, I enjoyed that, and uh, I hope you did as well. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time! And I've messed it up. Oh dear. Monsters, ghosts and spirits. Come. You really have messed up. Um, there's a d oh, oh! It's a handmade cloth or paper doll looking like a bald Buddhist monk. I can see the resemblance, I suppose. Right. I really don't like these noises that I'm hearing because I'm only causing half of them. Write something on it. Maybe it's like a. Maybe it's a really big creak. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Okay, go, go. Oh! Oh, God, no! Running away! Maybe I should go back and check out some of these doors. Wow, I've got some really long arms. So, let's start here. And look. Whoa, shoot! There you go, okay. So... Oh, quick. Quickly, here is someone from me. Oh, I must be silent. 